stiffness a term we hear a lot in textbook but how does it really work in sight or in designs and more importantly how do you explain in an interview to impress to your potential employer let's break it down theory versus practice hi i am atif nawaz and welcome to the first episode of theory versus practice where we bridge the gap between what's in the books what happens in the real world especially for structural engineers today we are seeing the term stiffness why because it is one of the most fundamental concepts in structural analysis and interviewers love to test your understanding on it in theory stiffness is defined as the resistance offered by an object to deformation when subjected to load mathematically it is given by k is equal to f by delta where k is the stiffness f is the applied force delta is the resulting deflection put simply stiffness is the load required to cause a unit deflection in other words a stiffer structure needs more force to deform by the same amount compared to a more flexible structure In practice stiffness is crucial in designing beams columns and frames it determines how much a structure will deflect under the load influencing fact safety comfort and even aesthetics for example in high rise buildings stiffness impacts the lateral deflections due to the wind and seismic forces if the structure is too flexible occupants may feel discomfort due to the sway Structural engineers use softwares like EDAPS, StatPro and SAP2000 to model the stiffness and analyze the deflection. Here is the practical tip. In design meetings, you need to explain to the architects or the client why increase in stiffness like using more depth of the beams reduces deflections but may have impact on floor to floor height or the costs. That's why your engineering judgment truly matters. From an interview perspective on stiffness, you can expect questions like this. How does the stiffness influence the deflection in beams and columns? Can you explain the importance of stiffness in seismic design? What are the stiffness modifiers that are used in the analysis? To stand out, don't just define stiffness. explain its practical implications for example say something like this stiffness is essentially the load required to cause a unit deflection in structural design this directly relates to the deflection control and vibration performance ensuring safety and comfort this shows you are not you not only know the definition but also understand its real world impact which interviewers in the top forms like atkins wsp acom highly value That's how stiffness transitions from theory to practice. Want to learn more about bridging this gap? Follow me for more episodes of Theory versus Practice. And if you are preparing for interview or looking to grow in your career as structural engineer, check out my mentorship session links in the bio. Drop a comment on what topic you want next video on. Don't forget to like and share. It helps more engineers learn and grow. See you in the next one. 